Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. Today we will be discussing Obama's war on the family farm. Yes, Obama has waged war on the family farmer, and I'm going to tell you exactly why, or at least shed some light on it a little bit. However, before I do that, I want to tell you about a fellow YouTuber who is a news, a, a, a kind of a news, um, I don't know, news geek maybe? Nah, she's not a geek. Um, she's a news uh, news person on YouTube. She talks about conservative issues. She basically goes over what's going on in uh, in the world uh, today, and she does a very good job of it. Her name is Carrie3570, or as I like to refer to her as Colonel Carrie. She is a Kentucky colonel, so you know she's top rate. Okay. Say, in fact, she put this. She put this idea in my head uh, about five minutes ago. Um, the family farm is under attack by the Obama administration. Go figure. You know, a lot of people just don't get this. This one. Of, this is one of those things that just kind of make you shake your head and go, "What the hell are they thinking?" Some of you may not know uh, that um, the Obama administration's Labor Department has put new rules in place banning farm chores. Okay, banning farm chores. Basically, um, if you're a kid growing up on a farm, in today's world and yesterday's world and hell for the last hundred, well, thousands of years, this is the way it worked. If you're a kid growing up on a farm, this is the way it worked. You woke up at the butt crack of dawn, you went out there and you fed the animals. Because, you know, rule number one of farm living, living is the, you take the animals come first. So, you don't eat until the animals eat. So, you wake up very early in the morning, usually before the sun rises, you go out there and you... Slop the hogs, you feed the chickens, you collect the eggs, you know, you do those things that are necessary at the beginning of the day, and then you come in and then you get to eat. And you know, it's usually, usually mom's got a pretty nice spread of, uh, depending on what part of the country you're in, it could be, you know, fried pork chops and eggs, or it could be sausage, biscuits, and gravy, but you, you ate good. And then you went to school. And you did your thing at school and you came home from school, and then you went out and you checked to see if there was any more eggs. All right, maybe you cleaned a coop if it needed cleaned. You know, you, you took care of the animals. You took care of the things that needed to be done. Then you did your homework. Now, sometimes you do your homework before you do that, or sometimes you do your homework in the evening. It all really kind of depended. But there were chores that needed to be done. This is all part of, of uh, you know, living on a farm, growing up on a farm. You know, and, and for the most part, that's what you did Monday through uh, Saturday. And then Sunday, of course, you went to church. And after church, came home and, uh, you know, typically uh, you'd have a, a family gathering and maybe fried chicken or something like that. And, you know, so basically it's, it's, it taught you a lot of really great lessons in life. Taught you hard work, taught you responsibility, you know, brought a little God into your life. Because, you know, I dare I say most uh, family farmers are Christians. Um, you know, that's my opinion, of course. But it's been my experience, so it's opinion based on experience. You know, it, it, all these things are are, you know, what makes America great, in my opinion. Now, why would the Obama administration decide to wage war on the family farmer? Well, now if you think about it, all those things that I just discussed <laughs> are, are very conservative-like. The, the hard work ethic, very conservative-like. The going to church on Sunday, very conservative-like. The family, very conservative-like. You know, it, the only thing that's, that would be even construed on the whole thing uh, as being any kind of a, a, a maybe a, a, a liberal um, leaning position, I don't know, call it position or not, but that would be taking care of the animals. The animals come first. That's kind of Greenpeace-ish, <laughs> you know, but, you know, where, where the family farmer and Greenpeace separate ways is every now and again, you got to wring the neck of a chicken, <laughs> and, you know, and come, you know, come the cool, come, come the cool weather, you know, late fall, it's hog, it's hog killing season. <laughs> That's that, that's where the uh, that's where the green the Greenpeace uh, animal rights PETA people I all kind of they part ways with the family farmer. <laughs> so anyway, you've got a situation that's that's been around for thousands of years. This is the way it's been on family farms for thousands of years. And then all of a sudden you've got the you know the liberal ultra liberal crazy 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 Obama administration. Every every department under the Obama uh, presidency. They've all lost their minds. Well, I shouldn't say they've lost their minds. No, they, the people that's been put in charge by Obama are radicals. But it, it's just, I mean, whether it's the EPA or the Labor Department, they're all radicals. You know? Now, I want you to think of something else. <clears throat> you've, got, you've got a family, uh, the, a family farm, and you've got, you know, typically farm families are 
fairly large because it, it does take a, a lot of labor to operate a family farm and and so you know traditionally farm families have been you know five six seven eight ten kids you know um so you've got this 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 going on why what can you think of anything else that would maybe bother the liberals just a little bit because you got these these kids they're tending to the farm and they're doing you know they're doing things that kids have done on farms for you know millennia can you think of anything i can it's taking jobs away from people not just any people who who are these kids <laughs> doing these chores on the family farm who are they taking jobs from think about it think about it who would the obama administration uh think of first over an american family farmer think about it dare i say illegal illegal aliens migrant workers because if you if you're not allowed to let your kids slop the hogs, if you're not allowed to let your kids you know plow the back forty once they get to a certain age, if you're not allowed to let your kids help with the harvest, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just throwing that out there because to me it, it makes perfect sense. It absolutely makes perfect sense. I think the Labor Department is looking out for illegal aliens. I think they're looking out for that migrant worker. And the, the best thing that they can do is, is make it illegal for the, the farmer's kids from working on the farms. You know, I forget the fact that these kids are being raised with exceptional morals, love of country, all the things that you get from the, heart, from the heartland. Forget that. You know, what's more important to the Obama administration is that there's jobs available for, you know, Pedro. Just saying. So anyway, that's all I got for you. I'd love for you guys to chime in on, on the uh, in the info section. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to go over and subscribe to Carrie. She's first. She's first right. If you like conservative talk, if you like conservative news, she is. I mean, she's far above what I'm doing. I mean, she's she's really amazing. I really think the world of her. Um, so. Anyway, rate it even if you hate it. <laughs> you know, and I know some of you love to put that thumbs down. Let me. That's one real quickly. Every time I see a thumbs down, it makes me smile. You know why? Because I know I've made a liberal cry. <laughs> Everybody take care. See ya!